Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jacques Sirois, a naturalist and bird watcher here in Victoria, British Columbia. We are today at Carroll Point in Oak Bay on the shores of the Ceres Sea, on the shores of historic Victoria Harbor Mercury Bird Sanctuary, and we are looking at the new marine kiosk that we installed with the help of Oak Bay in 2017. Our new kiosk consists of four panels and it tells us the story of what happens here in our local waters in a nutshell. It shows us on the, on the one hand where the historic bird sanctuary is from Cadborough Bay to Victoria Harbor and Portage Inlet, 28 kilometers long. It shows us the locations of three uh, local BC ecological reserves like the Trial Islands, which is also in the bird sanctuary, 10 mile point, and the Oak Bay Islands ecological reserve. So it gives us a map of the area with a few stories about the names of these places. Uh, second panel shows us a summer scene, a typical summer scene in the marine environment right here off Cattle Point with a school of Pacific sandlands, a common local forage fish, a fish that is eaten by larger fishes like the Chinook salmon, by seals like the Pacific Harbor seals, and many seabirds like the rhinoceros auklet and the glaucous wing gulls and the local California gulls in the summertime. By the way, the Pacific Harbor seals, which are rather common again, uh, will attract transient killer whales that we often see here in Oak Bay. The third panel is about uh, a winter scene of, of what kind of birds do we have here in the, win in the winter? A lot of birds come here to winter in the Salish Sea from various areas, from the Arctic or from the interior of British Columbia. So we have, uh, for example, the hooded mergensers, American widgeons, of course we have the harlequin ducks, uh, the black turnstones coming from the Arctic, we've got wintering marble merlets, a threatened species in Canada, the mew gulls coming from the interior, and, and resident species that are here year-round like the black oyster catcher and Pacific Green Blue Heron and of course the bald eagles. Our fourth panel here is dedicated to the oceanography of the area. The tides, the currents and an explanation about the large submarine sand dunes that we have here right off Oak Bay which explains why we have so much Pacific sandlands living around here. So this area is very good with good tides and good currents. We have huge tides of kelp forests, beds of eelgrass, patches of surf grass. So the habitat is actually surprisingly good right here in the city. And this is why it attracts so much wildlife, birds, fishes, seals, whales, and all. So this is the story of Kettle Point in, in a nutshell. Thank you very much, folks.